Hello everyone, the Pokemon fan that tie three here back with more Pokemon TCG card openings. I've got the rest of these packs, and unlike last time, I actually went and opened them. So, uh, this, you guys don't have to sit here, me going, trying to open 12 packs simultaneously and take you five minutes to do it. So, I put them in order by packs. So, once the first one, and then once I get through a pack, I'll tell you which ones I'm doing now. Start with the least amount. So, the first one's going to be Steam Siege. I've not opened these packs. I've opened them, but I haven't gone through the cards yet. So let's see what we got here. That's not important. We have Basic Joltic. Stage 2 Primate HP 90 Fighting. Swagger 20. Focal line of heads. Discard energy attached to your opponents after Pokemon. Sprint of growth 30 plus. If... Before damage, doing damage, your opponent's active Pokemon has more HP than the Pokemon that's than this Pokemon that's at the 60 more damage for a grand total of 90. Sorry, I had to throw my phone down because people were trying to get a hold of me again. Oops. And the last card we have, let me move this up a little bit here. I really don't have a lot of room on this desk. And then our last card is the Trainer Item Special Charge. Triple two special energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Okay, so nothing terrible there. Barely average. I'm not expecting to get too much out of these, but you never know. That back there. That down there. Next we have the Sun and Moon Ultra Prism with Giratina on it. Another junk. We have Basic Weasel. Basic Yanma HP 70. Grass. Super Speed 20. Super Coin of Heads prevent all dam effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. And then the last card we have is the Trainer Item Looker Whistle. It's your deck for the two cards named Looker. Reveal them in and put them in your hand and shuffle your deck. Okay. Whistle that Looker Whistle could be useful if you have a bunch of those cards. Back in here. Attempt to anyway. Another Ultra Prism. This time it has a Necrozema on I believe that's a Fuse Necrozema. Or, no, is that? I guess that is. It's really hard for me to remember. I never really played the Ultra game, so. Come on. Jump card. We have Basic Shinx HP. 60 Electric. Charge. It's your deck for an Electric Energy and put it into your hand. Attach it to this Pokemon. My bad. And then shuffle your deck. Ooh. We have basic Passimian HP 110 Fighting Power Huddle. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, your po Passimian's attack do third more damage to your opponent's at evolution Pokemon before Plumine is a resistance. Okay. So having more on the bench would do more damage, apparently. Rock Curl 40. This attack damage isn't affected by resistance. And then we have the basic Grass Energy. Next, we have Sun and Moon Ultra Prism with Leafeon on it. We have Basic Crogunk HP, 60 Psychic, Swagger 10. Little coin have had to discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Ooh, there we go. There's a nice card. I have a Dower Pack, no less. Ba Stage 2 Leafeon GX HP, 200 Grass. Ability, Breath of the Leaves. This Pokemon... This Pokemon is your active Pokemon once during your turn before you attack. You may heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any energy attached to it. That is actually a very powerful ability. Uh, Solar Beam 110 and then Grand Bloom GX. For each of your bench Pokemon, search your deck, or for each of your bench basic Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one GX attack per game. That'd be really good for a, um, for a Eevee deck. The last Pokemon we have for that pack is Stage 2 Goodbye HP 80 Dragon. Ascension. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon. Put on a Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. Slash 40. Okay. So, I'm going to move that back a bit here. Uh, got Leafy on here. We're going to grab a sleeve that I can put it in. That's a very nice card. It's not full art, I don't think, but maybe it's worth a couple bucks. Yeah, 
go get leafy on before I put it aside. Put these two back in this pack. We have another ultra person this time with uh, the fused, another fused Necrozima, I think. I think that, I think that's, no, that's, um, is it Necrozima? It's that one steel psychic type Pokemon with the, um, with Selego. I'm not really sure. I think it's called Necrozima. Hard to remember. We have Pessimian again. Ooh, we have Basic Tapu Lili, HP 110 Fairy, Psy Wave. 20 times. That does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Magical Swap. Move any number of damage cards on your opponent's Pokemon to another Pokemon to the another one. Hold on. Move any number of magical uh, number of damage counters on your Pokemon's opponent's Pokemon to, any, to their other Pokemon any way you like. So you can transfer the damage counters with that, with that one. And then our last card on that is Cosmom. Stage 2, HP 90, Psychic. Teleport. Put this Pokemon with your bench Pokemon. Back in its pack. Next pet, next set, we're moving on to Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. This one has Lucario and Memetal GX Tag Team on it. I know because I used the card and the TCG. That's one of my favorites. Also a bit overpowered, but whatever. We have basic Diglett HP, 50 fighting, ability, underground work. You discarded this Pokemon with the effect of Giovanni's Exile. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Hook, 10. There's a reverse Howl. Stage 2 Wigglytuff HP, 110 Fairy, or Polish. Put three energy cards from your discard pile in, into your hand. Sleepy Ball, 80. Your opponent's Pokemon is now asleep. And our last card is... Stage 2 Dodrio, HP 100, Carlos, try attack 60 times, split 3 coins, that does 60 damage for each head, so that can do anywhere from 0 all the way to 180 damage. Accelerating Stab 90, this Pokemon can't use Accelerating Stab during your next turn. So we got the, a ho Reverse Hollow and a really good card so far, so that's not too bad. Next we have the Unbroken Bonds with the... Um, Rush Ram and Charizard tag team on it. I think all the broken, unbroken ones actually are tag team cards on the front of them. We have basic tentacle HP 60 water bubble jutsu 10 plus. If you played Jasmine during your hand from your hand during the turn, that does 50 more damage for a grand total of 60 damage. Whoops. We have stage basic drowsy HP 70 psychic hypnosis. Your opponent's active one is now asleep. Side Punch, 30. The last card is Stage 2, Porygon 2, HP 80, Carless, Double Draw, Draw 2 cards, Spinning Attack, 30. That's where the Broken Bonds yet again, but this time it has Gardevoir and Sleeveon Tag Team on it. We have Basic Poliwag, HP 60, Water. Call for family. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it on this Pokemon and put it on your bench. My bad. And then shuffle your deck. We have basic Ekans. HP 70. Psychic. Glare. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Tail smack. 20. And our last card is the supporter tr I trainer item Dust Stone. Search your deck for a Miss Magus, Honchko, Selene, Delore, or Aegislash, including Pokemon GX. And if also one of your Pokemon, play it. And put it on the Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. This card can be used during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put to play this turn. Okay. Come on. Next, we have the Unbroken Bonds with the Mars Shadow and Machamp combination. We have the basic Poliwag, HP 50, Water, Ability, Round and Round. You can use this ability only if you go second. Once during 
your first turn before this attack, you may make your leader Pokemon, Pokemon, your opponents at the Pokemon confused. Watering. Ten. Basic Wiggly Tough again. This one's just regular. Not reverse. And then we have stage two Metapod HP. Seventy. Grass. Emerge. Once you turn before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it on this Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. Bug Bite. Thirty. It's the last one yet. Okay, we're getting down to the wire here, folks. We're almost out of cards. Or out of packs to look through. Now we have the Sun and Moon Lost Thunder with Celebi on it. I think the rest of them are Lost Thunder, too, unless there's maybe one or two there or not. Oops. Based on Nikita HP, 40 Grass, Fury Swipes, 10 times. Put three points, that does 10 damage for each heads. Basic unknown HP 60 psychic ability hand. Once you're in a turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and it, you have 15 or more cards in your hand, you may use this ability. If you do, you win the you win this game. Um I think Oh 35 or more. I was gonna say 15 or more, that's ridiculously broken, but I guess it's not. Then our last Pokemon is the basic, or card is the Steel Energy card. Basic Energy. So say that was 15 cards, that's not hard to do. But 35 cards, it's almost, that's over 50% of your deck, so. I mean, if you can make a deck work like that, I mean, yeah, it would be OP. Considering you basically end the game altogether. But there are a lot of cards that could force you to, for, to put all your cards back in your deck and then shuffle, draw a new hand, so. Next we have another Lost Thunder with Lugia on it. Useless card. We have the basic Onyx. The basic Routes HP. 50 Fairy. Beckon. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. Beat 20. And last, we have the trainer item Wait and See Hammer. You use this card only if you go second and only on your first turn. This card of energy for one of your opponent's Pokemon. Huh. Interesting card. I don't think I've ever heard of that one before. Two packs left. Maybe we can get one more to knock it off. And then we have Sun and Moon, Forbidden Light, with, I believe that's the other Necrozema on it. Like I said, I'm not overly uh, familiar with Sun and Moon Pokemon. We have Basic Skrelp, Basic Litleo, and Stay to Heliosk, or Heliosk, HP 100, Electric, Gnaw, 20, Volt Wave, 80. Pokemon if heads your opponents at the Pokemon is now paralyzed. Okay, we got one pack left now. And the last pack is the uh, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, which I've actually had a lot of luck with, but I doubt I'll get anything from this. We had the basic P Dove HP 60 uh, Carlos Chirp. Chirp the deck for up to two Pokemon with a Fighting resistance. Reveal and put your hand, then shuffle your deck. Razor Wind, 20. Or Razor Wing, 20. We have State 2 Galarian Darbarenton HP, 140 water. Blizzard, 80. This attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness resistance for bench Pokemon. Crushing Head, but 170. During your next turn, this Pokemon cannot use cr Crushing Headbutt. And our last card for that pack is the Trainer Item Full Heal. Your opponent at the Pokemon, your opponent at the Pokemon, regardless from all special conditions. Okay, we got all that. Let's backtrack a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna do something. In, no, let's. Hmm, I'm gonna. It was Leafy on EX, right? Is that the card? I'm gonna check this out real quick. Can I use? Here we. I'm gonna use my phone. Use my app I got on my phone to check that card out real quick. Let's see, search. Dang it. Leaf beyond GX. Okay, maybe that's not gonna come up with something. Um. There it is. Okay, Ultra Prism is an ultra rare rarity. 
and it goes for about a two to five dollars that's not too bad all right so that's gonna be it for the video thank you for watching at least the i think i made my money back it's really hard to say with just knowing what one or two cards is but this is the pokemon fan 1993 signing off i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care Bye bye